welcome back. Of course, here with Farshad. Been a while, but looking forward to diving back into things. Uh, Farshad and I have you know, stayed in contact, had a lot of amazing chats, um, a lot of amazing Scandium chats. We figured, you know, what a huge opportunity to kind of hop on videos again and talk all about Scandium. And of course, in the future, you know, more about DoubleView and other parts. And as always, people with questions, please drop them below. We'll make sure we get into it. Uh, first things first, Farshad, how are you? Hi, Jason. Thank you. Yes, I've had many requests like, uh, why you had so much synergy with Jason? Why you don't put all videos? Because we really loved it. That's why, you know, we're working, of course, again together. Yeah, love it. Well, happy to dive back in. Um, so I want to kind of set the stage. Um, a lot of people, you know, initially don't even know what Scandium is, wanted to do a big chat you know, obviously about Scandium, its uses as a metal, um, and then also what makes it different in the hat deposit compared to others. Um, so I guess to throw it to you, do you want to kind of introduce Scandium? You know, what is it? What's it used for? How big of a market is it? That kind of stuff? Yes, of course. Uh, Scandium, I stumbled upon it, like, coincidentally, I was working on a Saturday on the data. I saw uh, there's a large scandium everywhere on every drill hole that I am looking and I go, uh, how unique is it? I worked on another deposit very, very close, three kilometers or four kilometers away. And I saw there's no scandium in that database because I worked on it for several years. And uh, then I came back and I go, okay, the scandium I have to review it. I looked at the scandium. I looked at it in Australia. I saw the, by coincidence that a company put 300 some million dollars on it to develop a scandium that they knew it's extractable. The word extractable is very important in here. And uh, then I go, okay, let's see if we can extract it and uh, do the same thing. So I emailed my request to our metallurgist in England. Honestly, he's one of the best in the world, maybe the most unique metallurgist in the world. He's a very good chemist. And then he, he phoned me and he goes, uh, it's a great story. I've said it many times. I'd love to say it again. He goes, Farshad, save your money. Don't spend money on it. And I, I go, why is that? He goes, I know every scandium in the world. The problem they have, even they extract it, but they cannot recover it. So, uh, and it's coming from laterite. Laterite is basically clay material that you see it almost everywhere, but not everywhere has a scandium, but some places are better than the others, like in bentonite in Australia. That company's the stock went to $15 at the time. I do remember that and market cap $1.5 billion. Eventually, the story is not there. Uh, what happened? My methodologist said, save your money. Don't do it. I said, please do just a review on that. And I'd like to see it because I'm very lucky. My shareholders are lucky too. And uh, he laughed and he goes, okay, I will do it. It takes two weeks such and such work order is like this. I signed the work order. They started working two days after that. He phones and he goes, do you have time the next day to go on a video call? I went on a video call. He said, Farshad, I believe you have the most unique chemistry in this rock that sets it apart. I like a mineralogy to be done. I go really fast because this is boring for average investors to know what it is. So he went on it, bingo. At some point, they told me that they have a process. So we worked on it. We proved not only it's extract uh, extractable, but also it's recoverable. And we showed it in the lab that's recoverable. But there are many other things that I had to answer and I had to talk to him. Uh, I don't know how technical I should get, but I don't go very technical. Oh, high pressure acid leaching is the way to take all other scandiums out. 
That's why Iskandium is very expensive. It's very, very expensive. It, every five grams of certain Iskandium is between $32 to $60 to $65 per gram day in, day out. And it's very important in the industry to have it. Ours doesn't need high pressure. That's one of the unique things. It's the only one we, kill, we claim in the world that doesn't need that. That's the only one. The other problem with the other scandium uh, deposits are there are 4 million tons, 40 million tons. Still, they use high pressure, high temperature. We use low pressure, low temperature. Still, we're doing that. But, and we have a very large deposit. We're talking about um, at this time, one and a half kilometer by one and a half kilometer of that, we drilled with 700 meters drill holes, and we have very large deposit. I make it shorter. Now, why scandium is important where we are. In North America, we have the only scandium deposit announced that exists. Yes, there's a little one in Quebec with about 3%. That's what I have heard with chloroquine recovery. Ours is more than 50% at this time. We're going to come out with a better uh, extraction and recovery announcements, hopefully soon, because we are working on it. I believe that we're going to improve on it. That makes it even more valuable as we move forward. And uh, we will show to the world that this is very easy process. We have shown it. We are going to do economic assessment on this right after the first phase is done and we got the uh, scandium. We got to come up with the answer for scandium fluoride, which is about $66 per gram, which is much more valuable than the scandium phosphate that we announced is almost double. And we're going to come back and come to the end of it to see what it is. And then we go to the economics. This is the most unique opportunity in the world, I would say. And if we are right, we are sitting on one of the best deposits in the world. And definitely in North America, United States needs us for all aerospace and the car industry and all the other things like the battery, which is the most unique one. So I guess to give people a little high level and amazing, appreciate the walkthrough. Um, there's people hearing on this video, Scandium for the first time. Do you want to, you know, you mentioned some of the industries. Do you want to walk through some of the use cases for it exactly? Um, I guess. The size of the industry, that kind of stuff? Of course, yes. Uh, let's touch a couple of them. For instance, in aerospace, if they add a scandium, which is anywhere between 3% to 47%, if they add it, if we add it to aluminum, we create a much lighter than aluminum or a steel metal, which is much more resistant to heat and is stronger than steel and also much more resistant to corrosion than steel. So that's why they use it. Hopefully we can bring down the price so everyone in this industry, they start even using much more of this. This is right now, as at this time we talk, it's 60 ton a year using uh, scandium consumption. And in Canada, we have only one entity creating, they are going to create 20% of it but we can control the production of it. That's one thing in the scandium aerospace. The other one is the scandium in solid state batteries that China and Russia, they announced, you can Google it, solid state scandium battery. It, they have announced that they have created that. That's gonna revolutionize the electric vehicle in North America. That's very important. The other thing is, Scandium in the battery and the scandium in the body of vehicle can bring down between 25 to 40% of the weight of the vehicle, which is very important. This is going to increase the range of the vehicle 
hence bringing down the price. And they have enough of it to offer it to the world. There are many other usages too, for instance, the very technical circuits uh, that they can use it. For instance, you, you can go with it. It's scandium used in copper and aluminum for high temperature circuits and high pressure circuits. It's the one of the most stable material, conductive material that they can use. The other one is in wires, much more conductive than aluminum itself. If they add, if we add it to wires for high pressure, high temperature circuits everywhere. There are many usages, you know, more than that. I hope they come uh, new usages and we understand once we, we add that to the market, hopefully. Yeah, like quick Google search, you see, uh, yeah, fighter planes, bicycle frames, all sorts of stuff. Yes. So, um, yeah, no, very interesting. Love the the battery makes the car way less, so it goes further. Obviously, a huge piece for you know all the hype around um, you know batteries and of course EVs coming. So I'm amazing. Well, I think that was a kind of good intro video for Scandium. Of course, I always want people with questions. Please drop it below. We'll definitely do a high level overview on the hat deposit on double view on things that are expected to come you know in 2023 but far is there anything else you wanted in this video i think you know welcome back i welcome myself back to your arena too and <laughs> thank you thank you for having me here i'm very excited i think this is going to be uh, this is going to revolutionize the scandium usage and the scandium in north america for everyone Amazing. Love it. Well, looking forward to doing some more in the future. Thanks for being back. We'll chat soon. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Jason.